in life, there's always going to be something that costs less. So there's, there's some people where they say, okay, here's five policies. This one costs 100, this one costs 90, this one costs 80. You buy the one that costs 80 because it costs 80. I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to thoroughly go through the policy that costs 100, the policy that costs 90, and the policy that costs 80. Once you properly understand what the differences are between these policies, I can't guarantee but I can almost guarantee that you're not gonna want the one that cost 80, and you probably won't, cost, won't want the one that cost 90 either. Because with disability insurance, you get what you pay for. So if you think you're trying to save a few bucks, that could ultimately be the biggest financial mistake you make of your life, because you're gonna end up with a policy that has holes in it, and God forbid you need to use it, it may not be so pretty. So, there are some companies, most companies, they give um, discounts if you get a policy when you're in training. Don't buy a policy based on price, but if you can get a good policy with a discount, I'm all for that, but don't just shop. Does that make sense? Any other questions on disability insurance before we uh, jump into the other topics? Like I said, if anybody wants to block out time on an individual basis, do that little questionnaire, drop it off on the way out, and then I'm happy to, um, to, to, to make time with you guys uh, to, uh, to look at this. I'm going to give you the two-minute life insurance spiel. So life insurance is another something that I specialize in, in addition to disability insurance. With life insurance, there's different types of policies. There's term insurance, and then there's whole life or permanent or universal or variable life insurance. So with term insurance, it's gonna be the most cost-effective policy if you aren't making a lot of money and have every intention of making good, or if, if you aren't making a lot of money and you need a lot of coverage. With term insurance, you can buy a policy that lasts for 10, 20, 30 years. If you're 30 years old and healthy and you want a million bucks a 20 year term, just because you're married, you have dependents, you have close hundreds on your loans, 30 years old, a million buck life insurance policy for, for a 20 year term, it's going to cost you 400 bucks a year. Nothing. Um, for residents and fellows, with, if you're strapped a little bit for cash but you need some, just look at some term life insurance. It's going to be the best way to get a lot of coverage for not a lot of money. I'm not saying it's the ultimate fix, but given where you are in your travels, it should likely be the option that you choose. There's other types of policies called whole life. Um, they're not retirement vehicles. They're, they're accumulation vehicles. They're long-term insurance vehicles. Sometimes they make sense, but for people sitting in this room, they may not be the, the, the best option, but maybe at some point you'll, you'll look at them and then decide, does this make sense for me? For life insurance, I represent. 20, 25 different companies, if, if it's something you want to look at, feel free to check. And really, the triggers for, for getting life insurance are when you're married, when you have dependents, when you have co-signers on those. Any questions on life insurance? Okay. Next topic is going to be mortgages. Now, I'm not a mortgage broker. I don't sell mortgages. I have no financial ties with anybody that does mortgages. With that said, there's certain types of mortgages uh, that are available to physicians that I think should be considered at some point. So, me as a non-physician, if I wanted to go out and buy a house, typically I'm gonna have to come up with a 20% down payment. So, let's say I'm gonna buy, I lived over in Naval Square for got me, 10 years, like, a lot of years, and I moved out of there a few years ago. So, if I'm gonna go buy a place in Naval Square, Say it's $500,000. I'm going to have to come up with a $100,000 down payment, and then the bank is going to lend me the other $400,000. Or i got to come up with 20%, the bank is going to lend me the other 80%. There are options for me if I don't have that 20% where I can come up with less money. Has anyone ever heard of the word FHA for first-time home buyers? Um, there, there are programs where I can come up with less, but typically if I come up with less, maybe even as little as three and a half percent down, there's going to be this thing on your mortgage called PMI, or Private Mortgage Insurance. 
That is a four-letter word for physicians. You do not want that thing called PMI on your mortgage. So me, as a non-physician, I may not have an option. You guys do have an option. It's what they call a physician mortgage. A physician mortgage is, it's a mortgage um, that, that allows you to purchase a place with a 0% down payment or a 5% down payment and no PMI or no mortgage insurance. So if you know you're going to be somewhere for an extended period of time, say you know you're, at, you're in ortho, you, you're, you're a med student graduating, you snatched in your ortho, you know you got five years ahead of you, probably one more uh, because you're probably going to do fellowship. Well, if you know you're going to be here likely for six years, the cost to own in Philadelphia or the cost of a mortgage is likely going to be less than whatever it costs to rent. So you may want to consider buying. Now, if you're only here for a year or two, and, but I would say, you know, maybe four years, probably five years or longer, you definitely want to consider um, the economics of, of purchasing. I have absolutely no financial ties with any um, of these banks. However, I can tell you, one of the uh, flyers that I passed around was for Huntington Bank. Um, they're nice enough to send some pens and send some flyers as well. I send countless people to Huntington Bank, and there's others in the space, but these guys have a tremendous offering for physicians, so you should definitely start your search here if you think a physician mortgage makes sense. So um, I, I send so many people there, they give discounts to everybody that, that uses them if you mention my name. So call this guy, Jay McDaniel, he'll, he's aces, he'll take good care of you. Uh, if, if it makes sense, if it doesn't make sense, you don't do it. So that's physician mortgages. The last, um, the last thing I want to um, uh, speak about is going to be uh, retirement planning or Roth IRAs. So if you're a resident or a fellow,